What's up everybody and welcome to the Silver Armory Challenge. So basically, summing this whole challenge up, we can only use units whose weapons turn silver when you upgrade them, as shown here. The sword rats, when you upgrade them twice, you get a silver sword. The miner, you get a, I'm guessing, kind of silver-ish pickaxe. I believe the sword rat also has a silver helmet. Yep, kaboom right there. So that's what we're doing. Only towers, or not towers, I'm thinking too much of balloons. Only units whose weapons turn silver when we upgrade them. So there you go, we got a silverish clear for the archer down. I believe the miner also has one. Yeah, that's kind of the cool thing about this game. I believe you can turn all the weapons silver, bronze, or gold. I'm not entirely certain here. I don't think the spiritin has any. I mean, I wouldn't really classify that to be silver, but the spear's already kind of silver, and the helmet's kind of silver, too. So this really limits the amount of upgrades we can use, you know. The units aren't going to be as powerful as we might want them to be. And I don't think the Magi Kill has any. Yeah, they're all from Stick Empire, so, uh... Yeah, so you won't be using Magi Kill. And then three more upgrades will max out the Statue Crown. The only gold thing we can have. Alright, so our first game is Gold Rush against Ruth. However, again, our units are not as powerful as we want them to be. And her swords are actually... They're probably... They're not that much more powerful than mine are. Let me see. Yeah, we can still kill units in like three hits, so we, we're still fine against all this stuff. And we're already starting off with the bang, doing some serious damage to Ruth's miners here. She is not going to be ready for this. Finally going to make another sword, but it took a long time to get out here. And she's already done about 50%, probably 70% of her economy here. There's a mass garrison. You know what? To heck with it. Let's stay on the attack here. See what happens. Alright, these cast lodges are too powerful. We lost everything to them. But no matter. We have archers at the base. And she has a spiritin, but it doesn't, really, doesn't really matter. We got units to tank for it. Alright, so it looks like Ruth's gonna go for a, a Spiritan strategy here. As long as we keep sword streaming, we should be fine. Okay, here she comes. Big reinforcement wave on top of Archer, so I got a shield for these guys. Didn't even get to the sword jump, so it looks like we might be in for a bit of a pickle here. Um, that's a lot of swords we have to kill, on top of the fact that she has archers. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Alright, gotta go for some archer sniping. I'm gonna try to ignore the spiritin. Alright, so we're gonna kill everything here. Um, even when she archered on range, I'm just gonna ignore it. Oh, I don't wanna do a cast lodges anymore, though. So we lost a lot of miners, but we can rebuild those guys. And she still has units coming out, so this is ridiculous. These swords are not that powerful. So yeah, it was already pressuring from game one, so this is going to be ridiculous. 
and again, we can only use the units whose uh, weapons turn silver when upgraded. So like, on game modes like Deathmatch, we can't use giants and stuff. We do get a lot of free upgrades. So let's max out our, max out our cast ledges in the statue crown. I'm not going to do statue size though, it's going to take forever to kill it. Alright, so he's going to be pretty chill for right now. Already has three swords though. So I'm going to top those and then attack him and see what happens. Go for a fourth sword just for emergency reasons. Attack. Yeah, I actually kind of do like the silver weapons. Even if, you know, the units aren't as powerful <sighs> without the other ones. Alright, back up. I'm not trying to get sniped. So we're doing a pretty decent job with our economy. I already have it maxed out. We do have the minor avatar as well. So that plus the statue crown is a lot of freaking gold here. So we get our first few spiritons out. I don't really want to use spiritons since like they're not even upgraded in terms of damage. They're only good for like throwing spears. Alright, looks like he has no archers, so he's not going to be ready for this. Nope, he has archers. Nice, avoided all that stuff. It is pretty challenging avoiding castle lodges, but it can be done. Alright, so he has three archers. Decent amount of damage, but only three and not enough swords. We can still win this. Alright, here he comes. Here he comes with all that stuff. So we gotta back up. Hey, we have a lot of archers though, so this shouldn't even be an issue. He did pick up a Spearton, and it's actually helping him. Wow. Nope, we killed it very quickly. He's just now tapping into Spearton, so it's definitely too late for him. Nice. So that worked out pretty well. Game 3, oh man, a super death match though, and we can't use giants. We can't even use magi kill. So I don't even know how we're going to get this to work. Minor upgrades are useless pretty much. Okay, so let's... Max out statue size and castle archer damage and hopefully that'll help us, I don't know. Spiritin, bunch of archers. I'm not going to use sword wrath because they're not going to help out that much. Kill that Spiritin. 
If we can kill the spirit tonight, that would be nice. Finally killed it, but not in enough time because here comes two giants. Alright, as long as we bait their attacks and prevent them from coming too close to our archers, we can stall long enough to hopefully kill these things. Nope, that's bad, that's bad. We got a mass garrison. Again, we can do some serious damage with Spearfell, but we gotta kill these giants as quickly as possible because they're prone to do some serious stature damage. Okay, this is working. Nice, nice. This is working out really well. Alright, let's move out. Now we have an army. We can move forward to make this work. Oh, he picked up a Magi kill, though. I actually want to go and kill that, but we cannot get past this giant. Wait, move past the giant. Thank you. Alright, there you are, Magi kill. Make a couple of miners here. We're going to need an economy soon. Nope, I'm not dealing with that. Yeah, we have, like, massive archer count right now. And the good thing about throwing spirits is like, even if they're not upgraded, they still do, you know, the 400 damage and stuff. So this actually worked out really well, but the problem is our statue's maxed out, so we gotta deal with this castle just for a long time here. Oh my god, come on. It's right there. Alright, so again, this is working out pretty well for just for right now, but it's until we get to game 4 in Final Fantasy 4 CK, and the problem is now it's barricades too, so we're, we're not going to be up for an easy time here. Her swords are going to be a lot powerful than mine. Ooh, I almost arced on my archer again. Did not want to do that. Not even sure if maxing out our economy even matters. But then again, in the long run, she's not crazy, Jay, so she won't get like 5 billion swords like Kilo. She'll only get about 5 or 6 and then stop for some odd reason. But again, the amount of damage they can do is way worse than ours. Like, let me see how much damage I can do with the use of control. Thirty-two. Wait. I think we can actually do more damage than her, even with, you know, the fact that her swords look, look like they're maxed all the way out. Alright. But I think we should play it safe and go for a rage, and we have a Spear 10 Madness. I don't know when I got that thing, but hey, it'll help sometime. Let's get a rage. Oh, she's just gonna back off. That means we're gonna move forward because we don't want her to stack up on units. Let's see if we can do this without the rage. Oh, she's just gonna mass garrison. Cool. 
Okay, so her sword count isn't that big, but if we trigger the reinforcements now, we're probably going to lose the game. And now peace come to those archers. But we're double the her count, so it doesn't even matter. Attack. Wait, no. Attack. We got a tank for our force just a bit here. And she's using controlling, doesn't matter though. Keeps mass garrisoning. Holy crap, she can do way more damage than me. Alright, I think it's about time that we switch into spear. Oh my god, she has a spiritin. And of course it's maxed out. We gotta do something. Okay, she's gonna move her spirit in for her. Can we get a free kill on that? That will be fantastic. Attack. That worked out really well. So we'll get a couple of our own spiritins out here just to tank those stupid castle archers. Okay, she has four archers. Alright, so the moment those reinforcements come, we have to get our swords out of there. Oh wait, I forgot, we upgraded our statue. Okay, back up, back up, run, leave, now. We got a tank for the swords. Got it just in time. We're out of range of everything. So I don't know. She has a... No, I thought she had five. Okay. We must have killed two somehow. Attack. Can you stop mass garrisoning? That's really not helping. And that was the worst possible time for us to- Oh, she's gonna rage against me! But I don't even have any swords! Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know, hopefully our archer count will pay off. It looks like- Yes, it will, but she has a spiritin! Do I have a spiritin? Nope, I had no spiritin. Oh man, that, that's, that's clutch for her. That's actually good for her. No, wait, I got a spiritin. Move forward. Alright, we'll see how you like it when we go for your archers. Nice, we still got it. We still got it. She's trying to archer tank me now. But she doesn't have the archers to make it happen. She's gonna control one archer. Another spiritin. It can't last forever, though. Down to two miners, though. So that she did do some serious damage to us. Oh, I'm out of tanks. Alright, we're gonna go. We're gonna go all the way. I don't even care if I lose everything, as long as we kill the statue here. Another spirit to moving forward. This is definitely a close battle, but thankfully our archer count paid off for us. The swords were not powerful enough, they, they just couldn't resist those archers. Alright, nice. She did almost have me though, not even kidding. Uh, let's do another challenge. Or play another uh, Carnivore Immortal. 
We'll do the... I guess do the archer avatar. I mean, get some damage out of it. Barricades against Blake. Not going to be as challenging as last game. I'm not going to bother with statue upgrades this time. Oh, I didn't upgrade my spirit I don't think. <sighs> well, that's just great. He has an archer too, but... The power of sniping over this thing is amazing. It'd be crazy if the enemy could do this too. And now we can snipe miners at our leisure with the protection of this thing and not worry about anything at all. He's gonna mask Garrison though, okay. But our economy is already freaking maxed out. In fact, it's over maxed. He's got a pretty decent economy too, but I'm not sure he was gonna get what he needs in time. So we're gonna bring on the pressure here. Just spam units. I don't see anything yet, only the miners. I think he's saving up for a Spearton. Still nothing. Is he going for a Magi Killer or a Giant right now? Because we don't see any units. Besides those two archers. And there we go. We do see the first Spiritan. We got a lot of archers though. That's nice. Oh, here we go. That's not good. One archer's down, a lot of swords are down, and we gotta back up. Well, that got out of, that got out of hand very quickly. Two Spiritans. Can you do the sword jump? Thank you. Okay, we're back. We're back in our favor. Oh man, this guy's escaped with a, just literally a sliver of health. Attack. Perfect. I mean, we faced Z Force CK last camp. He's not as extreme as Crazy Day or Cyrus. Oh, we got Deathmatch this time. Uh oh. All right, so we got to face off against Cruel. I made a serious mistake. All right, so I'm gonna penalize myself for that. I was not supposed to max. I'm so used to doing that, maxing out everything. So we'll spend the 100 gems, that's literally me cheating.
Max out these guys. Oh, man. <laughs> we have 12 free upgrades and we can't even use them. It's actually disgusting. Let me try something. I mean, his weapons are still kind of silver. Giants don't have any armory items that we can use. That's not silver. That's not silver. No, no, just, okay. Just not. Just don't use magi kill. However, we can use spiritons at that level because that's still technically silver. Most of it is anyway. All right, so we'll, do, we'll see how this does for now. Yeah, mostly silver on this guy. It doesn't matter. Okay, I want to save the spirit throwing for like a later time. Yep, it's best to save it for like a magi kill. He has two matches that I kill, I think. Okay, let's garrison for a little bit. Alright, move forward, move forward, move forward. We gotta stall these wizards. Nice. If we get that magic kill to blast me, then that could help us out. Because now the giant's dead. And we have a bunch of archers in the back, but this guy's taking some serious damage. Okay, well now we have to snipe those magi killer. We are not going to win this. Alright, Magi Kill are had their backs turned to the archers. That means they can kill them. Oh, I got, still got gold. Okay, he's dead. Nice. Doesn't matter if he does that because he's down to like no economy either. He chose not to build miners. Yeah, he has literally no economy, so he got too greedy there and didn't spend his gold wisely. So, yeah, I'm unfortunate for you. We're going to win. Lack of units means only one castle archer. Nice.
Alright, so we're going to game three. Classic versus Willow. Oh my god, she archer spam, so I definitely want to win this as quickly as possible. Alright, so we'll do a sword archer start and then just see what that does. Okay, she did the Sword Archer start too. That's really unfortunate for me though, because I'm not going to be able to do as much damage. Okay, that did not work out. Is she still moving forward? She is trying to... Oh, I'm not as accurate as this Archer though. Sucks. Did I just kill it? Wow, I just killed it right when I said that. Oh, here we go. Alright, let's just build our economy for right now. We're gonna be ready for when she starts building those that mass archer count. She has one. It really gets challenging right here. We have to match your archer count and get a spirit in for tank. She only has one though. I thought she would have like five by now. She does pick up two extra ones here. But it looks like she's going to focus on building her economy. Fine by me, at least we'll be prepared for when she attacks. Here we go, she's building it up now. But our archer count compared to hers is just like astronomical. So then we'll pick up two more archers here, and after that we gotta tap into Spiritans. I'm not going to listen to him, because we might get killed if we do. Attack. There's her spirit in better. Her archer count is not as big, and I'm not going through that again. Okay, so they got damaged, but none of them got killed. Attack. Might be able to heal these guys up over time. Here we go, so we're gonna tank just like her spirit and just wait. If we could snipe her archers first, perfect. Oh wow, we insta killed it with the spirit though. I was just trying to get rid of her castle archers, but hey, that's that's perfect by all means. Oh no, it's game four against Crazy J. And it's Gold Rush. Gold Rush is Crazy J's like king game mode. Like literally, he's so hard to counter on Gold Rush. Alright. I'm not expecting to win this at all. But if we do, fantastic. Alright, so let's see what a sword archer start will do. Attack. Oh, I should have trained the I should have trained the swords first. Oh, okay, Archer, you better go out there. I'm actually gonna take control of them. The swords will catch up eventually, but we gotta kill his swords as fast as possible here. Nice, so that that was good. I did not want to snipe a miner. Oh my god, I thought the archer was dead there. Okay, so it's only the archer, and we lost a few miners, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. 
We can't press him because he's going to have his castle archers. So what we need to do is kill the swords before he gets that spirit. And ooh, that was pretty good actually, but sniping minus doesn't matter. Alright, let's regroup for right now. Oh, there's that Spiritan. There's that freaking Spiritan. Nice. That worked out pretty well. But he made a giant. He made a freaking giant. Ugh. Of course he would make a giant. And I was gonna build up his sword count and pick up arches. Oh my goodness, we gotta stall. There's another Spiritan. I'm gonna block these archers and not even worry about trying to attack them. Block. Stall against the giant. We have to buy our archers a lot of time. That was not buying time. Oh, and there's the golden Spiritan. I don't know. We did some decent damage to him. I'm gonna sacrifice my miners here, but if we can kill that giant and like everything else, then we'll do. Oh wow! And he has another giant. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one. I forgot I could use spiritons. Nope. Yeah, it's impossible. Looks like Arch accounts did not pay off. At all. Ugh. Sucks. Okay, I mean, the Sword Archer start worked out pretty well, actually. I think we have to be more aggressive and actually go kill off his miners. Otherwise, we'll get the goal for another giant. Alright. I think this time I'll remember to use Spiritons mainly for, the, you know, the spear throwing. So same start. It worked out pretty good. 